Hey, it's Nate from Navigator Bookkeeping with a QuickBooks how-to video. What I want to talk about today is setting up parent and child accounts. And no, I don't mean setting up an educational savings account for your child or anything like that. I mean, setting up accounts that are all going to collapse and expand within each other so that you can see a really quick summary of certain expense areas or revenue areas um, in your company. So a great example of this is um, if you have kind of a larger department or a couple different departments or locations in your business, one way to track the different locations altogether is to set them all up under parent accounts. Another example is if you have different departments um, inside of one location. So if you have a you know legal department and a human resources department and a marketing department, you can set each of those up as a parent account and then ha have all the individual expenses under those. Um, another way to track this is with classes, which I also have a video on. Um, they're kind of doing the same thing, classes and child and parent accounts. Choosing which one you want to do kind of depends on um, the, the volume of transactions going through as well as kind of what you're truly trying to track. So if you have a question about, you know, which one to go with, they both have pros and cons. But either way, just using either of them is going to give you a lot more specific detail into how your business is making money and spending money. And it's going to be a really helpful way to kind of see broken out on your financial statements um, where money is going. So let's talk about setting this up for some expense accounts, because that's probably the most common way this is used in businesses. Um, so where we are is on the left navigation screen, we're on bookkeeping. And then inside of bookkeeping, we're on chart of accounts. If you don't know what the chart of accounts is, it's the list of every single individual account in your QuickBooks um, account. So every expense account, every revenue account, every bank account, it's all in here. So most businesses will have quite a few in here. You can edit these, you can change their name, you can make them inactive. Um, this is kind of like the the bones of the of the QuickBooks account. This is where everything kind of has its place. So to set up some parent accounts, let's just look at what's kind of set up in this sample company already. So one uh, example that they have already in here is for revenue, they have landscaping services. And then under that, they have a child account job materials. And then under that, they have a couple other accounts as well. So what we're seeing here, which is important, is that you can set up multiple levels of parent-child accounts. All of these are all pulling into landscaping materials, but all four of these are pulling into job materials. So they're all collapsible or expandable into those different areas. Let's look at the, at the expenses here. Um, and you can see they have some setup in here already. But yeah, let's look at, um, well, you know, we'll, we'll go close to home for me, legal and professional fees with accounting, bookkeeping, and lawyer. What they have here is legal and professional fees is the parent account. Why you can tell that is because it's indented all the way here to the left. If we click edit on this, we see that there is no parent account on legal and professional fees. Now we can make a parent account over it. Let's say we want that to be part of our overhead expenses. And we're going to put all of our overhead expenses into a big parent account of overhead expenses so that we can really quickly see what are our overhead expenses for the month, what are our cost of goods, and we can see all of that in there. So you can see here, this is going to pull up all of your different accounts here. Um, and then we can add new accounts in that will make parent accounts uh, for this. So let's just quick create a um, parent account. So we're going to say we're going to make an expense. It's going to be overhead expenses. And let's save and close that. Now we're going to go to Regal and Professional Services. And by the way, if you're not using the search bar and chart of accounts, start using it. It's really easy. Um, we're going to click edit and we're going to say it's a sub account of overhead expenses. So now what's going to happen is overhead expenses is going to be our overall kind of parent account that legal and professional services is going to pull into. Now what we can do is we can go through here and figure out what other overhead expenses we want to put into that. So office expenses, that's part of overhead expenses. So we're going to do that's a sub account overhead expenses. It's now going to go in here. We're going to press save and close. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to, on the front end, do a, a decent amount of work as you kind of go through all of your accounts to see what you all want to go in there. Like I would put meals and entertainment in there. Um, I would put marketing in there, rent, supplies, travel, all those things, utilities would go in overhead expenses. Okay. Edit, sub account, overhead expenses. And then what's going to happen is overhead expenses, when we look at it, we're going to see that all the other accounts are actually living under there now. So you can see here, legal and professional fees is under there, office expenses is under there, utilities is under there. So you're going to kind of know which ones still need to go in there by seeing which ones are not under here. So the first step is to kind of create those parent accounts, decide which ones you want. You know, for this one, we have just overhead expenses. And then, you know, maybe we want separate from that 
uh, separate from overhead expenses. Maybe we want uh, payroll and we'll have all of our payroll expenses separate from that payroll taxes, uh, the actual payroll. Maybe we'll put contractors under their payroll fees. But you can set up um, as many kind of parent accounts as you want, and then you're going to want to kind of create families under those. So right now, another family we have is legal and professional fees. And then what's under that is accounting, bookkeeping, and lawyers. So this is now three tiers, right? We have overhead, we have legal and professional, then we have our specific sub accounts under there. And we could do this for all these ones under here as well. So this is a really nice way to kind of break out where are your different expenses going? How can I find them and see how they're broken out? Now, let's see what this actually would look like on the financial statements, because the whole purpose of this is to have better view into a better view into the, your financial statements of what's going on here. Where we are is we went to business overview, and then we're on reports, and we're on the profit and loss, which is just going to show your revenue and your expenses for the business. What we're seeing now, all the revenues at the top here, and down here are all the expenses. You'll see these drop-down arrows. Here's the overhead expenses account that we created. If I click this arrow, overhead is just going to all pop into there and give me a, a total amount for overhead. If I click the arrow again, it's now going to split it out into those sub accounts of overhead, the child accounts. I can now also do just this one. Okay. And accounting, bookkeeping, and lawyer is all going to pull into legal and professional fees. I can do the same thing with utilities. So it's a nice way to summarize all those so that instead of having a profit and loss that is, you know, super long, tons of accounts, really hard to kind of tell what's going on, I can just quick minimize this, pull everything into there. And it's going to give me a quick glance at what's going on in my overhead expenses. So that's what parent and child accounts bring to you. You can customize it as much or as little as you want. I have clients who have every single account in their profit and loss under some sort of parent account. So they can pull, you know, they might have a hundred accounts, but it's all split into four parent accounts that they can just collapse and see. And I have some clients that have just, you know, a couple, they just want maybe payroll and overhead expenses summarized as a quick way. So you can do as much or as little as you want, but it's a really nice way to break down your expenses, to see where everything's going and to have kind of a better view of, what are kind of the big, big buckets that my expenses are going into? So definitely encourage you to check this out. It's a really helpful tool here in QuickBooks. And if you have questions about doing this, definitely reach out. It can get a little complicated at the beginning, and it definitely can feel like a lot of work as you have to pull a lot of accounts into those. But don't be discouraged. Once you set it up, it's kind of set it and forget it, and it's going to give you a lot of really helpful data down the road um, in all of your financial statements. So like I said, reach out if you have questions, if you want assistance with this. Always happy to help or answer questions. Thanks.